Welcome back to Sports Edge. We're talking uh, football, uh, American Athletic Conference football, and with UConn head coach Bob yeah. Diaco. Here. My goal was to outdress you today, but I think I lost that bet. No, no, you look great. Uh, you too, you yeah. too. I know a lot isn't made of where you're picked in the, in the preseason, but when you saw where you, you got your team was placed, what people think of you this year, what went through your head? I didn't, you I didn't see it, okay. I didn't, and I'm not being coy. I didn't, I didn't see it. Here's what it is. You're not going to put me in a box and define who I am. I'm going to define it. You're not going to tell me who I am. I know who I am. And I know the investment I've made, and I know the intensity and passion and effort and love mm -hmm. for the mission and for each other. So the last thing you're going to be able to do is tell me what I can and can't do. Mm -hmm. Good. So, so what are the 2015 UConn Huskies going to be? We're going to be tough. We're going to be detailed. We're going to be a brotherhood. We're going to have incredible passion and play with joy. We're going to be a, a, a team that executes, protects the football, and at the end of the day, on the scoreboard, we're going to have more points than the opponent. You were on the job for the first year as a head coach. What did you learn, I guess, last year? How much about time yourself? you got? We're going to need a couch for this <laughs> okay. interview. If you're not learning something every day, no matter who you are, what you do, how old you are, you got no chance. The beginning of the end has started. Mm -hmm. So I learned something every day. I took accountability, tried to take accountability. Our organization tried to take accountability. Um, being sure that I'm, I'm, I'm making room for people to do their work. Mm -hmm. and, and not only that, I don't have enough time in a day to micromanage every little point. So that's that, that was a learning curve, you know, to making sure that I let people that I've hired to do jobs do their jobs. Your defense, uh, you know, from, from before you got here all the way, it's always defined UConn football. It's always been very good. It was this case last year. Uh, offense, obviously, you'd like to see it pick up the pace a little bit this year. What have you guys well, done differently to, to we, get that going? Everything. I mean, we're, we've, we've added manpower to not only the whole team, but specifically the offense. Um, now there's, there's, a, there's a wave of personnel that the positions are more well-rounded. They're still young. So you think about the quarterback position, which was uh, a collection of some people. Right. Now, it's, now it's a room full of, of, of five physically gifted, smart, intelligent, able-bodied players. Is there a leader in the quarterback uh, house right now? Yeah, it's Brian Sheriffs. Okay. Absolutely. He's done the work through spring and then and then through uh, winter, summer. Um, but Timmy, for example, uh, Timmy uh, went into the spring practice one having not prepared mm -hmm. to play. He was healing. So he answered a couple of his medical things and then he went to rehab to become 100% for the start of spring practice. Bryant trained to be the quarterback for spring practice, very different. Now Timmy's training to be the quarterback in the fall. And, and the main goal for everybody is to win football games. And you know, two and 10, I'm sure no one liked last year, but I would, the guys talk about how it was this close. From two and 10 could have been six and six with a couple of different you know, plays here and there. We turned the ball over two, point, two and a half times a game. And a lot of those were returned for scores or set up scores. So in the event that we don't do that, if we just, if we just solve that one statistic, mm -hmm. how different a conversation we're having right now and different a conversation I've had with everybody in the room. Right. It's, hey, how are you gonna build on the success from last year? Right. What one team took us to the woodshed. Every other team was a battle from start to finish. Every other game. There was a, a moment and, and, and most of the time was turnover related. Uh, I know there's a lot of people who want UConn football to do well, to win games, get back to a bowl game. You know, are you confident in saying this team will be better than a two and 10 team? Absolutely, uh, absolutely. We, ex we expect to win the games. Yeah. We're gonna play the games to win them and we're gonna win them. We're gonna make the investment. We're gonna show up to the contest expecting to win. And we're gonna have one more point on the scoreboard than the opponent, we're gonna win. Bob, thanks for the time. Thank you. Good luck this year. Pleasure. And earlier in the day, Coach Diaco said he expects his team to go 12-0. And hey, I guess if you're the coach, you expect to win them all.